Okay, guys, how's it going? So, basically, with uh, my SR exteriors, like all in one mod, it is very much like Open Cities. Um, and the same process with patching it occurs too. Um, anything that affects the interior world space of the five holds um, White Run, Markarth, Solitude, Windhelm, and Riften. If they if there are mods that affect the interior world space of those, it, they won't be compatible with my mod. Um, most exterior um, changing mods will be. Um, any interiors will be, mostly. Uh, but I can show you a simple um, way to patch some of the exterior mods, not all, but quite a lot of the simple ones can easily be patched this way. I would actually say there's like a, a level one, a level two, and a level three way of patching. I'm gonna go over like how I view a level one patch for um, my exterior cities um, series. And it's also um, laid out properly on the uh, mod page. So basically what I'm gonna show you is I already downloaded Spaghetti Cities. So Spaghetti Cities is a very simple mod. It just adds objects to the mod or into the city world space. And basically all these objects are, are just references. So it doesn't change nav mesh. It doesn't change the city layout. It doesn't really change um, a lot of stuff. It's very vanilla. It just adds a lot more decoration and clutter. Kind of like a a smaller form of JK Skyrim. Now for like, let's say, I would consider that a level one. For a level two, I would actually say that a level two um, style patch, you're talking about a city overhaul mod that adds a significant amount of stuff to a city, such as JKs. It changes the nav mesh or adds nav mesh and it adds new buildings and NPCs. Now that's a little bit more work. A level three is when you're trying to get two city overhauls, I would say, to work with each other and then patch them into my mod. You have to plan ahead. You have to properly plan out how you're gonna have everything laid out for the city, what's gonna clip into each other. When I'm talking about clipping, by the way, I'm talking about buildings. So. I'm just going to go over the level one right now, and then for future reference, I'll uh, go over a level two in another video. But uh, first to start off with, um, you're going to need creation kit and you're going to need xedit. You're going to want to use the ESL flagged version of my um, exterior mod, which is right here. This is, ex this is the ESL flagged. And we're gonna make a patch for Spaghetti Cities, which is already installed, okay? I'm gonna clear my overwrite folder. I use MO2. So I don't get a bunch of non-needed stuff into my mod that I'm making. I'm gonna use SSE Edit. I'm gonna load both of these up in SSE Edit. And you wanna use this uh, as an ESL because my form IDs are compacted. Form IDs are basically your objects in your world space, like your clutter. They have a form ID, what that object is referenced to. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to keep this as ESL, uh, ESL flagged compacted. So basically when mods are compacted at times, some of those form IDs can be changed. And when you make patches, if you go about it the wrong way, the patch that holds your form IDs, if not patched appropriately and then compacted, can then change the form IDs from your mod inside that patch that you create. So you wanna use the ESL version. So when you compact, let's say Spaghetti Cities, it's compacted against my already ESL flag compacted mod so that the form IDs will stay the same. If you were using, let's say, the ESP version of exterior cities and you compact 
uh, let's say the patch of spaghetti cities, the form IDs can change and that could cause issues if you're messing with nav mesh or objects. It's kind of like if you deleted ob ob objects in one mod and then went on to another mod and you have a crash to desktop because one mod requires an object in another mod that was deleted and it can't find that reference. That's how some CTDs happen and that's why you want to clean your mods. All right, so I'm going to go in and jump on this before I fall down a long rabbit hole of explaining things. <laughs> I'm going to disable all the Creation Club stuff. I'm going to select none. I'm only going to load my two mods. And again, I'll show you what I mean by this once this is fully loaded up. I'll show you what an ESL flag is or how to ESL flag real quick. It's actually fairly easy. This is still finishing. See right here where it says record flags on the right hand side. So once that's done loading, which hopefully it should be any minute, um, you can actually right click on form ID and you can go to edit and a window will pop up with boxes where you could check ESL flag or ESM. And then after that, you'd go to save. Some mods require you to compact them. First, for that, you would right click on your mod and a list would pop up and you go to compact for ESL. But that's if you want to ESL flag your mod. I'm still waiting for this to load. So again, all we're doing is like a level one quick tutorial. Basically, I posted this on my mod page for this mod. All right, we're finished. I'll show you this real quick. And go to edit. You can actually have ESL or ESM. I'm going to keep mine as ESL. I'm not going to mess with it. <laughs> I'm going to save it just in case. <laughs> So it says file has not changed, which is good. <laughs> Otherwise, I was going to have to reload. Anyways, so if you wanted to compact something, you would actually go, uh, since this is already compacted, it's not it's not showing up. So if a mod isn't compacted, it'll show up here. It'll say compact for ESL. It's not in the list. So because it's already flagged as an ESL. Okay, so when an ESL... Um, is compacted or a mod is compacted changes form IDs just want to let you know that ahead of time and that could depending on what you're doing if you don't do it properly it can screw things up so I would compact your mod then release it and then keep editing your compacted mod from there on out and anything you can pack on top on top of that like recompact then um, it'll just add to the reference numbers that are already there. It won't change the form IDs, but okay, here we go. So we're going to patch Spaghetti Cities, okay? We're going to open it. We're going to look at its world space, right? So we do have a Tamriel world space. We're not going to mess with that. We're only going to mess with Windhelm, Riften, Markarth, Whiterun, and Solitude, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to right-click we're going to deep copy as override with overriding into, I usually go to a new ESP. You could go to an ESL flag, but I'm going to go to, a, let's see, ESP is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to OK. And we're going to say, we're going to name our patch. We're going to say, uh, S-R-E-X underscore um, S-P-A-G underscore uh, patch. And that's what we're going to call it, okay? Actually, we're going to call it all-in-one. Say C-A all-in-one patch. Okay. So our patch is right here. We have one city. We're going to go to Riften. We're going to deep copy into your same. It popped up right here. We're going to keep putting everything in that same patch. We're going to go to OK. We're going to do this. 
We're going to deep copy as override again. We're going to keep going. All five. And the idea of this is we're going to move the world space of these after we get done, of these references. Because all these references currently exist in a different world space other than Tamriel. We want to move all this stuff into this world space. So here we are. We got all of these references now in this patch. Okay. Now I would save up there in the right hand corner. You can just click on that. You don't need to exit out. Make sure this is checked. Go to OK. All right. This is now saved. Now. You don't have to do this right away, but I'd recommend doing this. Click on your mod, right click, go to add masters near the bottom. You're going to add my mod right here. Click this, make sure it's checked mark as a master. So you require my mod and spaghetti cities for this mod to work. I'm going to save again. Okay. Then after that, I'm just going to go through these one at a time. I'm going to right click, go to apply script, go all the way to the bottom. You're going to look for world space, move references into another world space. Click that. Don't worry about all this. Make sure this is checked, include scripts from subdirectories. Click OK. All right, we're going to look for Tamriel world space right here. You're going to click move persistence references only from the current plugin, update doors and teleport data. This updates the teleport data from your doors and interiors from the nav mesh that it originally was coming from to my nav mesh from my mod. Go to OK. It'll process. See Tamriel just popped up. So Windhelm is now done. We're going to go to Riften. We're going to do the same thing. You're going to do the same thing. You're going to apply the same script to all five cities. Go to OK. Click, 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 Tamriel. OK. So this will work for simple mods that add like trees, clutter, things such as that. OK. It's not going to it's not going to work to um, move nav meshes. Um, it wouldn't move it would move like let's say buildings and stuff but it's not going to move the uh, nav mesh that's needed for those teleport doors if it's like a new area let's say like uh, capital white run that adds two new districts tamriel check 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 speaking of white run <laughs> apply script okay check 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 Check. Tamriel. Okay. Solitude's our last one. Apply script. Okay. Tamriel. Check, check, check. Okay. All right. Here you can save again. We've moved all of our cities. Now, for an extra step, I recommend this. I say click on the mod, apply one more script. Now you don't have to go to all the world spaces, go to the main patch right here. You're going to type up here, put world references, and this is going to pop up, put world space references in the right cell. What this does is it updates your cell ID records for basically any of your objects, clutter, or references. It, a lot of them have reference ID cells or cell IDs or location IDs that were like usually in the scripts where things are, where markers are. So basically, if the first script didn't change that, this is supposed to and update that. Apply this to the whole mod. <laughs> And I'm going to do it one more time just in case. So, do, 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 apply it. Okay. All good. All right. And after that, uh, let me think. Do, 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 do. I'm going to save again. Sound save, no changes. Okay. 
So with that, I'm going to see if I can flag this as an ESL. As a bonus step, this is for anyone that wants an ESP flagged ESL, has the properties of an ESP, but is flagged as an ESL, doesn't go towards your 255 mod limit. ESL flagged, go to OK. Let's see if we can save it. Go to OK. Done saving. I didn't need to compact this file. So sometimes it'll say error down here when you go to flag it for an ESL. If it says error down here for such and such reason for a reference, you have to compact that patch. Now, again, when you're compacting this patch, make sure you have the ESL version of SR Exterior Cities. The ESL flagged version, not the ESP. Because if you have the ESP version that's not flagged as an ESL, it'll change to different form IDs within your patch. And things aren't going to line up properly. I'm going to save. I'm going to exit. Now, for Vortex users, your patch is going to be in the data folder. For MO2 users, your patch is going to be down here in Overwrite. You're just going to right-click Overwrite, Create Mod. I'm going to call it SREX SPAGHA nope, e, ETTI Spaghetti's no, Grammar Today Cities all in one patch. And right there you go. And if you want to uh, turn it actually into a patch um, that you can upload onto the Nexus, go to, so you're going to right click on it, open Explorer. A window is going to pop up just like this. This is the inside of that folder. I'm going to get rid of the SSE edit cache. You don't need that for this anyways, for making these patches. Go up, right here is your mod. You wanna go to WinRAR or 7-zip, you wanna zip this file up. And right here is your patch. You can upload that on the Nexus and that's uh, basically my tutorial video for a level one. I'm gonna do a level two and maybe someday a level three. Level three takes a little bit of planning. You can do it, it's not extremely hard, but I can show you. But we're gonna get into a level two next.